All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy Dash the True Inferno. <laughs> and it's another throwback tunes on another Thursday. So we are still on this Rough Rider theme, but we are moving from Eve and we are now back on DMX. So I reviewed two, if memory serves me correctly, two of DMX's albums in the past. And they were his second and third studio album. So we talking about Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood, and then of course, and then there was X. So there you go with that. Now, within Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood, uh, Q Smooth, six months ago, made a comment with question that I do one about is Dark and Hell is Hot, which is DMX's debut studio album. And that's what this is. And ironically enough, when that was in the Flesh My Flesh Blood My Blood video, and then on another video, it was Super Marquis 32 who requested that I do review Flesh My Flesh Blood in My Blood. That was back in 2016. So I'm gonna shout him out again. But yeah, we are moving on to DMX's debut studio album, which is It's Dark and Hell is Hot. This joint dropped May 12th, 1998. It was recorded from 96 all the way up to 97, and it was done under Rough Riders Entertainment, Dev Jam Recordings, and Polygram. Okay, that's a new one. This joint got four singles, and I was, wow, I, I thought I only had, to be honest, I thought I only had like two, maybe three, but it had four singles. We get more into that in a second. Now let's look at the producers involved here. So obviously we've got D and Rod Dean, who were the executive producers. Herb Gotti, who was also the executive producer. Yes, the same Herb Gotti who created Mother Inc. Dane Greasy, PK, Lil Rob, and of course, Swiss Beats. Oh, uh, let's see. Also, we got Madman, who was helpful with the production, some of the tracks. Let me see. Young Lord, same thing. And did I say Lil Rob? Yes, I did say Lil Rob. And that is everybody. So, there you go with that. Now, let's take a look at how this album did so far. So, basically, when it came to the uh, charts, it was number one in the U.S. Billboard Top 200 and number one in the U.S. Top R&B Slash Hip Hop Albums charts. And when it came, and anything else, yeah, it was 15th in the Canadian Album Charts and 89th in the U.K. Charts. They call it the official album charts. I don't know about that. But anywho, the album sold around, or a little, slightly over at up, 4,674,000 copies. It was quadruple platinum by the RIAA. It was gold by the BPI, which is out in Brit um, you know, Britain. And it was platinum by the MC, which is in Canada. So there you go with that for this. So let's take a look at these tracks, shall we? So there's a grand total of 19 tracks. Now, if you were to get the, I guess the newest version of this album, there's 20 tracks. And that's basically was a bonus track, which is called Wolf Rider Anthem Live. So there's the live version of that track, and that's a bonus track. We're not gonna count that one. We're only gonna focus on the original 19. Now, speaking of which, let's take a look at these, shall we? So we got one skit, two skits, three skits. So I can give you guys a top five and not a top three. Yay! Okay, so there you go with that. Let's see, let me give you guys the name of the track. So the first track is called Intro, and right off the bat, you would be thinking that that's one of the skits. Nope, that's actually a song. Like, it started off as a skit, but like a minute into the track, slightly over the minute into the track, we actually get a song. So that's the actual song. The second track is called Rough Riders Anthem, which is a classic. Anybody who knows that song could instantly tell you that is a classic. Track number three is called Fucking With D, and obviously there's no G in fucking, and we talking the letter D, and there's no, uh, the letter H is not in the word wit in this title. So Fucking With D, that's the third track. The fourth track is called The Storm, which is the first official skit of this album. And actually, I, I made a correction. I need to correct myself, actually. And I'll get to it in a second. Track number five is called Look Through My Eyes, so T-H-R-U, through, so there you go with that. Track number six is called Get At Me Dog, featuring Chic Luke, which is another single, the second single off this album. Track number seven is called Let Me Fly, followed by X Is Coming, a little bit of info behind that one. Track number nine is called Damien, followed by How's It's Going Down. There's no second G in going, 
and that's another single off this album next up is mickey which is another skit followed by crime story and then we got stop being greedy which is another single and then here's where i gotta make the question try number 14 is called atf so i said there was three skits on this album actually there's four atf is actually a song but the fact but the problem is there's no hook for one i'm not saying a song needs a hook but two is less than two minutes long so i i can't really call that an actual song so technically there's 15 uh songs in this album but i can still give you guys a top five and not a top three because if, if it's 15 or more i can give you a top five all right moving on try number 15 is called for my dogs featuring biz stand loose casino with a k and dragon try number 16 is called i can feel it followed by prayer which is another skit so this is the scenario where he would say a prayer in every one of his albums so this is where i guess where it all started i guess Track number 18 is called The Convo, followed by Niggas with a Z. Done Starts Something, or Done Started Something, featuring The Locks and Mace. So there you go with that. Now keep in mind, this whole entire album, only three songs that he did, you know, it features somebody else. And every other song he did by himself, which is pretty cool. And in my opinion, that's how it should be for a debut studio album. Like, you shouldn't be relying on a crap ton of people on your debut studio album. You should establish yourself first and then get more people to do tracks with you in your upcoming album things like that but with it with all that out the way let's talk about his fourth single shall we his first single is called get at me dog so yeah there you go with that all right this joint came out february 10th 1998 and the song samples everything good to you and then in parentheses you ain't always good for you i mean let me try that again ain't always good for you and that song was by bt express so the single was 39th in the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. It was 19th in the U.S. Billboard Hot R&B slash hip hop singles and tracks, and six on the U.S. Billboard Hot rap singles. So, was there a music video for this? Uh, I'm gonna have to say no. There was no music video for this song. However, this song, which features uh, Sheik Luke from the Locks, was used on the playlist of the video game Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories on the fictional rap radio station the Liberty Jam so that's pretty interesting and this single was actually DMX's second highest peak on the chart of the Billboard Hot 100 behind Party Up Up In Here so there you go with that let's move on to the next single which is called Stop Being Greedy this joint came out on my mom's birthday March 7th 1998 and again there's no music video oh yeah there is a music video so yeah there's a music video that was shot for this uh album right here and the song samples my heroes are gun by diana ross from the 1975 film mahogany the single made it up to 79th on the u.s billboard hot 100 and 45th on the u.s billboard hot rb slash hip hop singles and tracks all right so with that out the way now let's get to the single right here this is the one right here wolf riders anthem this joint dropped may 5th 1998 so obviously there was a music video for this. Then let's, now let's take a look at the chart. This joint finished 93rd on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, should be higher, and 33rd on the U.S. Hot R&B slash Hip Hop Singles and Tracks. So I, like I said, there was a music video for this. All right. So let me give you guys some background info on this single. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this song, produced by a young Swiss beat, was initially rejected by X, who claimed the beat wasn't raw enough. And then here's a quote right here. I made a Rough Riders anthem beat in Atlanta. It was me just bugging out, having my New York influence and having my Atlanta influence. That track was the puppet blend, which was awkward and different at the time because nobody had ever heard anything like that. DMX didn't want to do, I'm assuming didn't want anything to do with it. They forgot to wear anything. He was like, and quoting DMX, man, that sounds like some rock and roll track. I need some hip hop shit. I'm not doing that. It's not hood enough. End quote from DMX and Swiss Beats. So there you go with that. So apparently the beat was redone, I guess, and DMX heard it and then used it. So there you go with that. Actually, no, there's more into this. So let's see. But yeah, there's more quotes. My bad. So the background vocals and beat follow the rhythm of a military cadence. This coincides with the Hook's theme of being a cohesive unit. Switch recalls how the what ad lib came about. The what ad lib and all of that came about in the middle of us hyping him up. We left it in the track to add energy, which was a good move. 
collectively we came up with that vibe. So despite Swiss Beast's best efforts, it wasn't until I'm trying to read this name because I really mean I'm a little bit sleepy. Darian and Joquan Dean convinced DMX to go outside the box and make something different that acts finally relented and gave the track a chance. And then there was a DJ Clue remix. So, oh yeah, I remember that one. Now this joint featured obviously DMX, obviously. Jada Kid, Styles P, Dragon, and Eve. And this joint came out in 1999 as the third and final single from DJ's Clue's solo debut album, The Professional. I don't think I reviewed that one. I think I reviewed part two, which came out in 98. The, the actual professional album. Anywho, the remix charted on Billboard Hot RB slash hip hop songs as 47 and was later on feature in Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Yeah, that same radio station as their other DMX single. So, yeah, we'll find an anthem a classic without question. Now, the fourth single, and this is one I remember as well, called High is Going Down. So, apparently, even though I didn't mention this, this one actually featured Faith Evans, who was used in the introductions monologue from his day boat, uh, you know, from this album, rather. So, this joint came out June 9th, 1998. And, there, yes, there was a music video for this as well. So, let me talk about the lyrics a little bit. The song is about DMX meeting a girl and eventually carrying on an affair with her. This leads, or this leads, excuse me, to the girl's current boyfriend attacking a man he believes is DMX. Eventually, by the song's end, DMX decides that carrying on the relationship would be wrong and tells the girl she should go back to her boyfriend. Ain't that sweet? <laughs> uh, the music video obviously uh, featured cameos from Eve, Ja Rule, ja, uh, Dragon, and uh, Gotti. So obviously at the time, they were all unknown, but a year later, they all became big time, which is pretty crazy. All right, this song made the US Billboard Hot 100 charts at 70, uh, at the 70 spot, and it was 19th of the US Billboard Hot RB slash hip hop singles to tracks. So with, oh, and then there's one more track we gotta talk about, and that's X is Coming. This is not a single, but, this is something that should be talked about. So basically, this song features DMX delivering horror core lyrics over a horror influenced beat. The lyrics subjects involve murder, teen rape, and the nation and violence. X is coming also known is also excuse me, known as one of the most brutal songs on this album. The lyrics is also known as one of DMX's grimiest or bassest beat, uh, verses he had ever made on this track. The chorus is of the song is sampled by the theme song of Freddy's Coming For You from obviously a Nightmare on M Street film, obviously. But the name Freddy was replaced with the name X. However, they don't, didn't use the 9 10 part of the song, they only used the 1 2 to 7 to 8. So, there you go with that. Now, let me give you guys my best tracks off this album from worst to first. So, looking through my eyes, it's cool but it's the like comparing to the others it's the worst track off this album like it's the mellow out joint it's cool i probably would have used a different melody but i like the drums and you're gonna hear me say that a lot about none of these tracks i like the drums i like the snare whatever the case may be moving on i can feel it the beat was cool and actually that sample was in the air tonight by phil collins and i'm like wait a minute that sample sound for me and that's right and then next up is the intro which starts off with a skit, like I said, but then in a minute, you'll hear the track, and the beat was actually pretty cool. Next up is For My Dogs. I like the beat for that one. like the drums, and it's a semi-mellow out joint. Next up is the combo. Again, the beat was cool. I like the melody. The snare, though. They should have used a different snare without question. Next up is Niggas Done Star Something, and the beat is cool. Really like the melody for that one, but the snare is terrible. Like, the combo snare was better than this one. Like, that snare on Niggas Done Started Something was horrible, in my opinion. But the lyrics made this track without question. They used the Marvin Gaye sample off the song, Mussy Mussy Me. When I heard it, I'm like, wait a minute, this is Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Moving on, Crime Story, I like the beat, like the snare, the melody is semi-smooth, and again, it used another familiar sample. Crime Story uses uh, Easing, without the G, performed by Edwin Starr. I never knew the title, but I knew the song. I'm like, wait a minute, that sounds familiar too. How is going down? This one, I forgot to mention this. The actual song starts 38 seconds into the track. And this is a classic semi mellow and the beat is cool without question. Obviously, if you heard DMX on, you should know that one. Stop being greedy, that is a dark joint right there. I like the drums. 
The beat is cool, and I really like the tempo of that track. And then, of course, the sixth best song off this album is Let Me Fly, a mellow joint. Really like the snare, and the beat is cool. All right, let me give you guys my top five from this album. Fifth best track off this album is X is Coming. Obviously, this is a horror beat right here, dark tone right here. Like the snare. And then, near the end, though, they had, like, a group of people singing the the hook i'm like no just get a little girl that would be more creepy things than it that would fit the vibe of the song as opposed to just a group of people fourth best track on this album is damien this one is semi-dark really like the beat and the melody is phenomenal in my opinion really like this one the best track on this album is fucking with d the beat is really cool and again i like the melody and the drums of this one really sick right here second best track on this album and this was really close this one was really really close Get at me, dog. Featuring Streak Loose. Really cool beat, man. Really like the melody in the snare. I really was like, should I put this number one? It was this close to being number one. But at the end of the day, Rough Riders Anthem tastes the best, you know, track spot right here, man. That's the best track off this album. Hype track, though, without question. Beat is really cool, but the lyrics make this track right here, man. Rough Riders Anthem, without question, the best track off this album. Now, let me give you guys some professional ratings. All Music gave it 4 out of 5 stars. The Daily Vault gave it an A-. Entertainment Weekly gave it a C. Pitchfork gave it a 9 out of 10. Q gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Rap Reviews gave it an 8 out of 10. Rolling Stones gave it a 3 out of 5. But the Rolling Stone Album Guy gave it a 4 out of 5. What the heck? Anywho, The Source gave it a 4 out of 5. And Spin gave it a 6 out of 10. So, the leading hip-hop magazine, The Source, described the album as a mind-gripping office that fully incompatible. Uh, Oh, guys, I can't pronounce. It <laughs> compensate the appeal of one of rap's newest sensations. There you go with that. All right, so what do I think about this album? Okay, so if you recall my other DMX's reviews, I gave, and there was, X, I believe it, I said 4 out of 5 or 4.25 out of 5, and I gave Flesh My Flesh, Blood of My Blood, 3.5 out of 5. I'm going to give this one 3.75 out of 5. So, and I said this in my Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood album that It's Dark and Hell is Hot was better than uh, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. Obviously, you got Rough Riders Anthem, Get At Me, Dog. Those two, obviously, really great tracks. Fucking with the D, or fucking with D, rather. Damien X is coming, all great tracks. Let Me Fly, Stop. It got a lot of great tracks. Not a, I, I'm not, there was no track that I said, oh, this track is garbage, or it was horrible, or it was, even, not, not even some that was just decent. Like, all of them were just cool or above. But, like, outside of Rough Riders Anthem and Get At Me, though, like, none of them was, like, really groundbreaking or legendary. Like, obviously, Rough Riders Anthem, legendary. Get At Me, though, could be considered, but no, that is legendary, in my opinion. But I still go give it 3.75 out of 5. I feel like, you know, outside of those two, there's not enough there that would make me put this at a 4. But it's still a great album, and I recommend you either download it and keep it, or you get a physical copy of this album. So, there you go with that. So, with that said, y'all know who this is. This is the New Jack Aspie, a.k.a. the new Steve Nate Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.